Hi everyone, my name is Tina Park and I'm the Head of Inclusive Research and Design at the Partnership on AI. I'll be presenting our paper, Automating Care, Online Food Delivery Work During the COVID Crisis in India, on behalf of myself and the lead co-author, Anuba Singh, a PhD candidate at the School of Information at the University of Michigan. On March 23, 2020, the government of India announced a nationwide lockdown to curb the spread of COVID-19. The country came to a standstill overnight and small businesses and restaurants took a massive financial hit. India's two food delivery giants, Zomato and Zwiggy, acted quickly to respond to customers' fears and anxieties. They implemented several digital health and safety interventions on their delivery platforms, such as contactless deliveries and payments, sharing delivery workers' body temperatures, and the publication of delivery worker vaccine records. Through in-depth interviews with 13 food delivery workers, we examined how Zomato's and Zwiggy's strategic deployment of care, primarily to reassure and regain their customer base, came at the expense of the safety of delivery workers. We show that rather than being genuine demonstrations of care, the platforms appropriated existing scientific knowledge about COVID-19 to quantify and standardize workers' health into easily trackable and visualizable indicators that could be efficiently and quickly incorporated into the existing platform. While care has largely been understood as a private act and the responsibility within the domain of the home and the family, in our analysis, we follow feminist calls for making care a political project and bringing it into the public domain, making it a social issue and attending to its non-innocent politics. Care during the time of COVID-19 is especially important to unsettle because the gravity of the dangers can easily mask, if not justify, the surveillance of workers and the pathologizing of particular segments of the population as diseased and dangerous. We found that these two platform companies focus excessively on workers' health with the constant monitoring of their body temperature, increased surveillance of their use of masks and corporate gear like t-shirts and bags when making deliveries through random selfie checks and forcing workers to prove their safeness by publishing their unredacted vaccine records. Customers, on the other hand, were not required to adhere to any such safety protocols. When a delivery worker's COVID status could be monitored and traced by customers, no similar information was available on the app to reassure delivery workers on how to safely interact with the customer. Customers did not receive regular reminders about sanitizing their hands or wearing masks while meeting their delivery person. If a customer arrived at their front door without a mask, delivery workers had no means of enforcing this public safety measure. In our paper, we highlight how the celebration of good feelings like safety and trust, when accessible differently across social strata, is not only a problematic asymmetrical distribution of actual care, but also the dangerous reanimation of structural inequality. Feelings of care and safety have the potential to make underlying discriminatory practices appear ambiguous and fuzzy if they appear as, a, as problematic at all. Through a critical unpacking of Zomato's and Zwiggy's performance of care, our work brings attention to the importance of critically interrogating the promises of happiness, care, trust, and safety of technological systems. Thanks so much, and we hope you'll check out our paper.